Susul Welcome to Under the Plum Bob, the podcast about all things related to the EA Max's series of game called The Sims. We avoid the real world by talking about our made up ones. Look, guys, I know it's been rough. We all wanted to go on our vacations, but unfortunately, due to the plague, they have been staycations. But don't worry, today we are taking you on vacation throughout The Sims series. My name is Ava. Is it me? Yes. Hello. <laughs> It me. Hi, I'm Vanity. Hi, I'm Marissa. <laughs> Welcome down to the Plum Bob podcast. <laughs> Back today, we're, we're talking about vacation. All I ever wanted. Oh dear God! Vacation. Oh my God! <laughs> to get away. Look, I am salty about the fact that I did not go on a vacation. I'm real bad. Mental health took a fucking hit for it. Um, I was supposed to be in Italy. I was supposed to finally meet Ava. There's, yeah. There are so many things that are supposed to happen that didn't yeah. happen. And I'm going to yeah. be a bitter, salty, pruny bitch this whole time. I was going to be no, same. in Ireland around the same time as Melissa. And we were going to see if we were going to meet up as well. So I did Ava get was going to meet everyone. I was, I'm upset that I didn't get to meet any of you because of the fucking Rona. Yeah. yeah, we were even like debating... A big trip to Texas, weren't we? We were all thinking of or meeting yeah. in some kind of central location. None of that's happening now. Thanks yeah, a lot, no. You definitely no. don't want to come here because we still can't figure out why, you know, how to wear a fucking mask in this bitch. So. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, please wear your masks so we can actually go on vacation again at some point and, uh, you know, meet each other in real life instead of yeah. just over the computer. It would be nice. And I will say... Just, just saying, just, just gonna throw it out there. Japan, absolutely crushing it. They are their numbers are super low. Why do you think that is, everybody? Because they uh, wear masks. Because they wear fucking masks. It's already in their society. If they don't feel good or if they're trying to avoid getting sick, they wear a mask. So when all this is happening, they're like, "Oh, cool." It's so actually, we'll just wear a mask and not assert. It's actually, our- a lot <laughs> like a lot deeper than that in Japan cuz like they wear masks to protect each other they only wear yeah. masks they don't wear masks because they don't want to get sick they wear them when they have the sniffles and they're like it could be allergies it could not so i'm just going to wear a mask mm-hmm. and make sure that if it is a cold nobody else catches it cuz they care about their communities also it's just say, polite it is it's polite i'm also going to say um so masks were invented in like probably what 1800s 1900s and they started becoming doctors like when our society started actually having doctors and we've no one has committed suicide or like died from having to wear a mask all day surgeons do mat have to wear masks for like how many hours when they do surgery and they're not dying from it they've been doing this for years and they're all fine So y'all need to calm down with the masks. Sorry, Karen, you have to wear a mask for five minutes in a store. You're not a surgeon wearing a mask for like 15 hours. So calm down. Yep. Also, like the essential workers and like store personnel and stuff, they have to wear that shit for the entire day. You can survive 30 minutes in a store. That's fine. I have to wear a mask all day from the beginning of the shift to the end of my shift. Even when I leave my classroom and walk out and do everything I need to do. So, and I am just fine. I have my nice little bamboo mask I got off Amazon. Very breathable, very comfortable. Highly recommend. Wear a mask. <laughs> like, look, I get it. You, you know, it's a, it's very hot as well these days. And like wearing a piece of cloth over your face, it's annoying. You get sweaty. But you know, it's either being hot and sweaty or dead. So, choice is yours. Anywho, mm-hmm. we were talking <laughs> about vacation. Vacations. Um, Vacaciones. Yes. Holidays. Because The Sims 1 started the trend with The Sims Vacation. And it was released as The Sims on Holiday in the UK, Ireland, China, and Scandinavia. So take that that as you will. (laughs) Yeah, just uh, adapting to the colloquialisms. I don't know. Um, It was the fourth expansion pack for The Sims 1 
series. The game associates the Vacation Island subneighborhood with pre existing base neighborhoods. It was released on March 25th, 2002 worldwide. So finally, our little pixelated peeps could take a break from the endless humdrum of work and canned beans to t- to kick back and relax. And they had three. <laughs> Look, if you listen, it hasn't come out yet, but if you listen to the llama, beans? if you listen to the llama cooking episode when it comes out, you will understand. Mhm. But they had three amazing destinations that they could pick from. They had, um, so we got one new neighborhood, which consisted of three sub-neighborhoods with three lots each. Um, They were in three different themes. So there was the winter sub-neighborhood, which had Alpine's Winter Wonderland, Penguin Mm, Acres Campground. Alpine, exactly. Oh, man, do I have stories about Al? Let me tell you what kind of person Al is in a minute. There was also Penguin Acres Campground and Alpine preserve um but that that is an actual alpine not al space pine this is actual alpine um there is the forest themed sub neighborhood which has the bear essentials lodge the ranch the rangers ranch campground and wren's fens national park say those five times fast not gonna lie i read rangers ranch compound not campground and i was like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> very different i mean it could type be of vacation <laughs> i mean it could be <laughs> then we had the beach because you can't say vacation without thinking of the beach there's uh, the Palazzo Palms Hotel that we start with. Then there's Sunset Beach and Reclaimed Public Beach. Now, this was also the closest you could come to seasons in this game, as each of the neighborhoods had a different biome with snow, sand, or lush forest. Unfortunately, no precipitation, no rain, no snow, no stuff like that. We had to wait until Sims 2 to you know, get some of that good, good weather. Um, so now let's start with my absolute favorite winter. I love cold. I am not a summer person. It's been tropical here as of late and I have been suffering screw you global warming. Yes. I mean, so I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, you know what I humidity. I hate yeah. you. <laughs> do you know what I don't want? Do you know what I don't want to hear from you guys? Fucking complaints. <laughs> look, 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 look. It's 100 and fucking 7 degrees. No, 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 no. My See, skin has sloughed off and I'm walking oh, around in my bones. That's oh, fine. It's oh fucking However, hot. Let me tell you about hot in Belgium. First of all, we are not used to getting over the hundreds or even temperatures this warm. Also, our houses do not come equipped with AC and they have been built to trap heat. It was literally over 100 degrees in my bedroom over the past couple days. I had to get a mobile AC unit because we don't have anything but a desk fan to keep us cool otherwise. It's been just the last six years um that we've had temperatures this warm because it never used to be so hot so naturally our houses aren't built for heat like this it's the worst so i am gonna complain vanity i am gonna complain that's fair yeah that's fair i for me i'm in the midwest now san diego doesn't have humidity because we're so close to the ocean so i am not used to humidity especially 90 degrees 100 percent humidity i have curly hair that doesn't work my arms sweat. My arms sweat. My yeah. my arms. My arms and legs sweat. Arms and legs shouldn't sweat. Usually it's like your armpits and your face and stuff like that. Now your arms. The tops of my arms get sweaty because of how humid it is. It is yeah. absolutely ridiculous. And that is exactly why I went to Canada in February. Because I want layers. I want crunchy, fresh snow under my feet. I want to curl up in front of a fire with a good book or a new crochet project and a good cup of tea. That is my jam. Not this ungodly hellscape. Please just stop the heat. I cannot. Yeah, I hate the heat. My job is indoor and outdoor. And every and every one of the apartments that we have that are vacant are on the third floor. And I try to stress this oh, before yeah. before I talk to somebody. I'm like, hi, this is on the third floor. That'd be the fourth floor for you guys in the in mm-hmm. the other parts of the world. Mm-hmm. And I was like, sweet. Um, are you sure you want to do it? And then we go up, we walk, and I'm I'd wear black pants to work. So we walk, 
And they're like, oh my God, it's so hot. It's on the third floor. And I was like, bitch, I will throw you down three flights of stairs if you don't leave me alone. First of all, you're in shorts and a tank top and I'm in black pants and a button up. So let me alone. I have under butt sweat. I have back of my knee sweat. Yeah. I have have, uh, the worst front front elbow sweat. What the fuck is that piece? In the fr- the the front of your elbow, the back of your elbow, your uh, inner your the inner bow. I have the inner vagina. bow sweat. <laughs> is that I'm an actual just... word? I don't. That's the joke because you have your weenus and then your vagina. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna call it my in- my inner bow, but my inner bow was sweating. I had chin sweat, nose sweat, and back of my ears sweat. And they were like, and I was like, I hate everybody. So that's why I need this vacation life to have, you know, I wanted to go someplace cold. Okay, well, let me tell you about (laughs) someplace cold. In that case, Vanity, you should come one, come all to Al's World Famous Island Summit Resort. You've seen it on the postcards. Now come enjoy it for yourself. Al says, bring the kids too. It's a little creepy, Al, but okay. Now, this lot has three rooms <laughs> that, that you um, can stay in. Sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. that joke doesn't age well. In the no. world of Epstein, that world no, is, that, that really doesn't age doesn't. well. <laughs> um, I mean, oh, you can bring so your horrible. kids to a resort. Come on, Neil. Sure, it just sure, sure. It, The fact that it says, Al says, bring the kids to. <laughs> why do you want us to bring our it kids, It is a Al? Specific, specific request from Al. Maybe don't. Yes. Don't, don't do that, Al. Anywho, this lot has three rooms for you to stay in with a double bed, a toilet, a shower, a sink, and a dresser. In the lodge, you can enjoy not one, but two buffet tables or chill out in front of the fire on the hopefully faux polar bear rug. Did you book this trip last minute and didn't have time to zip downtown for some appropriate winter wear? No worries. Al's got you covered. The gift shop not only contains the standard souvenirs and postcards, but also a clothing rack where you can pick up some thermal undies and a sweater or two. Thanks, Al! Uh, You can also get some PJs for the kids. After all, we wouldn't want them to freeze their little toesies off, now would we? Um, Mm -hmm. And once you put those little goblins to bed, you and your better half can take some time to yourselves and chill out in the hot tubs. Keep it PG, though. Al is watching. Always watching, you know, for your safety. Wouldn't want you to drown in that tub. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Can I also say that all of those hot tubs are surrounded by pine trees, so you got all kinds of privacy. (laughs) Yep, that is true. All I can think of is that is that GIF of Kim Kardashian like popping out of the side. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) That you didn't do the GIF of Kim Kardashian like popping out of like the foliage. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's all, that's all I can think of. But, you know, what you, I might hear you say, what if I have pets? What do I do with my pets? Don't worry, you can bring them along because Al loves pets. If Unleashed is installed, the restroom should contain a dog bath and the main lodge should contain food bowls. The dining table Aww. in the main lodge should have a queen Vivanka roses on them and each room should have a basic pet bed and there should be a dog house near the door of each room. There are no litter pans nor are there any scratching posts or other pet fun items. So plenty of stuff for dogs but nothing for cats because apparently Al is a feline discriminator. I will not be going here. Zero stars on Yelp. (laughs) Fuck you Al. My cats need vacations too. Exactly. So worried about the kids in the hot tubs Al. What about the cats? Huh? What about the cats Al? Because they can, because cats know when someone's creepy. Yep. Oh, maybe that's, that's true. it. Yep. Maybe that's it. He doesn't want them. Now there are some tips that uh, you can use to make your stay at Alpines better. You can add one or two bathtubs because this will let the kids bathe without making a mess, and it'll give them a way to raise their comfort level. You could put a bookcase in the main lodge, and some Sims will be able to read in front of a fireplace and will sit long enough for their comfort levels to go up. Now, if the Queen Vivanka roses are present as mentioned above, remove them. This will allow Sims to sit inside to eat. Otherwise, there's just no space on the table because, you know, apparently they can't put their plate around a vase. So that is. (laughs) Those are really great tips because those are huge issues. Like they have all those cool slides and the um, Mm -hmm. snowboarding pike or snowboarding. What is that called? Pike? Half pike. Whatever. Half pipe, yeah. Um, 
And it stinks because I remember playing it. My sim was always uncomfortable. So she was always just wanting to go in the hot tub or sleep. And I was like, no, bitch, you got things to do. You got vacations yeah. to do. No, like, let's bitch, have fun. you got things to do. <laughs> like, I always literally by the next day, her new needs are so low that she just was laying in the hot tub or like laying around. And I'm like, really? Like, I'm trying to vacation. Ugh. <laughs> Well, if Alpines <laughs> isn't what you want from a vacation, you can then maybe pick Penguin Acres Campground. Why spend a fortune on comfy hotels when you can get back to nature and go wild in an igloo? Fun for the whole family, but remember to bundle up. Now, this winter lot has three igloos, a couple of toilet stalls and a couple of showers. So plenty of opportunity to warm up after you freeze your bits off because brr. There's a changing tent, so Sims arriving from other areas of the island can change into winter wear. Just like at Al's, there's also a small shop where they can buy new winter wear as well as postcards and gift souvenirs. There's a grill, and Sims who don't want a grill can buy a hot dog. Because nothing says winter wonderland like a good barbecue, apparently. <laughs> there... Logic. <laughs> There is a small game room with arcade games and a pinball machine. And outside we have carnival games, an archery range, and a snowboard half pipe, a fire pit, and a rental booth. And if Unleashed is installed, there should be a pet's potential play palace, a food dish, and a couple of dog houses on the lot. However, there are no litter pans or beds that cats can use. Again, blatant discrimination against cats. Zero stars. Okay, so what I'm thinking about is this. Maybe, just maybe... When you go on vacation, your cat's vacation is from you. Oh, Maybe. that's possible. so they're staying that's, at home mm, because they possible. don't. They're like, "Bitch, you're still here." Yeah, it's like no, right, I when I go on vacation now. I feel like my cats are going to be like, "Well, not Aries. Aries is going to be really sad that I'm gone, but Athena, she's going to be so excited that I'm not here. She's mm -hmm. like, "Yes, go away." That's pretty fair. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I get it. The cat gets the vacation from you. <laughs> but, you know, maybe maybe you have a cat like Aries and you want to take him with you. And, you know, these first two locations are like, no, no cats. We're going to be snobs and discriminate against cats. That's fair. Let's try the Alpine Reserve. Sorry, Alpine Preserve next. Thanks to funding from the Island Open Space Modicum Tax Fund, this little corner of the island has resisted development for the time being. Now, this winter lot has two igloos and some basic amenities. The small building has a bathroom with toilet, sinks, mirrors, showers, and a changing booth. And outdoors, there is a rental shack, a fishing pier, a dock with seating, and two snowball forts. So you can have your little snowball fights. Near the igloos, there are picnic tables and a fire pit. There is a grill on the lot, so Sims won't go hungry. So yeah, this place is basic. However, if Unleashed is installed... Two critter condos will be present near the igloos, and a dun dungeonator dungeonator nine thousand will be present in the bathroom. So finally, we get some feline representation. Five stars. Ultimate winter destination confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yep. Screw That's you, Al. So I'm going funny. to Alpine Reserve. Preserve. God you know. Can cats go to the bathroom outside in, in The Sims? I Is that don't know. I add? don't think so. I think they actually need a litter pan. That is so strange. Yeah. Well, good. Alpine Preserve, the literally most basic one is the best. That's yep. where they put the cat box. That's that makes where, sense. That's where All they right. care about the kitties. <laughs> so rude. Now, say you're not a cold person. You know, that's okay. Maybe you want your climate a little more temperate. That's okay. We got you, boo. There is the Bear Essentials Lodge. Now, forget about roughing it when you stay with us. Our immaculate and unspoiled accommodations offer the perfect getaway for sims in need of peace and relaxation. Now, this first forest resort has four cabins, each of which has a Napoleon sleigh bed. One cabin also has a Tyke Nice kids bed. Al said to bring the kids, yet he has no kids' bed. At least they won't have to sleep outside in this one. Each cabin has a bathroom with the basic toilet and pedestal sink. Three cabins have basic showers, and the one with the kids' bed has a shower tub. Two of the cabins have a dresser. The main building has two buffet tables and sells postcards and gift souvenirs. You have to bring your own sweaters. 
<laughs> Outdoors, there's an archery range, a volleyball court, a fishing pier, and a rental shack. There's also a redwood hot tub, a water balloon fort, some rockers for the kids to ride, and a fire pit. Again, Al was so insistent you bring the kids, but he didn't have any entertainment for them. Uh -huh. There are picnic tables to eat at, a few grills to cook on, and a couple of porta potties. So no roughing it in the bushes here. If Unleashed is installed, there should be a dog bath, and the main building should contain food bowls. Each cabin should have a medium pet bed. There are no litter pans, nor are there any scratching posts or other pet fun items. Again, discrimination, zero stars. But maybe you don't like fancy beds and pooping indoors. That's okay. Then there's the Rangers Ranch Campground. You don't like fancy beds and pooping indoors? I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Who doesn't like pooping and you know what? I want to take a shit in the forest. Yep. Like and for eight. that, dude, people like that. Dude, don't even pretend. People like that. <laughs> there are some people. Let's not. Do you take sure. toilet paper with you? Like, I just feel like I, I don't know. I've, I've tried to pee like on the side of the road once. You know what? DC living, okay? And as a girl, trying to pee on the side of the road i'm just so nervous about peeing on my clothes my hands mm -hmm. my feet like couldn't imagine pooping well but i feel like pooping would be easier sorry ava i feel like pooping would be easier because it's there's more weight to it so it just goes straight down versus yeah, but the then you gotta that wipe. flies everywhere yeah uh, i wrote that I script and i already i already regret it <laughs> <laughs> i already regret it i did this this is my fault. It's fine. You did it. You did this. You well, did all I'm saying is when I used to go to music festivals and we camped there because it was uh, a couple of days, we brought our own toilet paper because the porta potties didn't have any. Gross. But when, when I would go to warp tour and stuff like that, I'd bring my own toilet paper and my own hand sanitizer because they never were good in there. Oh, yeah. You have to. In my fanny pack. That's <laughs> not my vagina pack for those guys it's the what do you what do you guys call them i know in yeah. the uk you call them a bum bag bum bag you know it's that's something i've always wanted to know what do they call fanny packs in other parts of the world bum bag oh, i think it's bum bag funny. in the uk that's really funny what is it called do you call it a fanny pack where you are ava um to be fair fanny packs weren't actually a thing here until like um, the east pack fanny packs started becoming really popular and we just called them our east pack bags oh they're I they're great I'm for concerts and for hiking trying to, trying to think if there's a for like disneyland is good yeah mm -hmm. the zoo <laughs> hang on i'm oh. gonna i'm gonna ask my mom she should know <laughs> <laughs> I love it. A friend. It's so funny how those things are coming back in style now, fanny packs. Like I see people I all the time with them. I was at Target yesterday and like so many girls had little but they have like nice ones. They're like leather fanny packs. I'm like, are you yeah, kidding my, me right my, now with these leather niece, fanny packs? <laughs> my niece has one, but she wears it like a satchel. Like she yeah. it across her chest. And that's, yeah. how yeah, that's, that's how we used to wear them. Yeah, that's how we used to wear them too. Now. Yeah, I wore them around my waist, but <laughs> yeah, I've seen like I think did K-pop people make that really popular to have it oh, slung across hip your chest? Bag. Oh, hip bag, hip bag. To be fair, hip bag makes way more sense than fanny bag. Like <laughs> it does because I'm I, it does it does. But hip bag, you I, wear it I, on I'm your hip. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, the more you know. Well, you can always bring your hip bag if you go and uh, rough it in Ranger's Ranch Campground because hotel, schmotel, real outdoor sims know that open air camping is the only way to enjoy nature. It's also the best way to enjoy our open air campsite attractions. Now, this forest lot has two tents, a couple of porta potties, and a couple of showers. Okay, so maybe no pooping in the woods. There are changing booths, so Sims arriving from other areas of the island can change into everyday clothes, and there are three grills, so they aren't likely to go hungry. There's a water balloon fort, an archery range, a fishing pier, a fire pit, and a rental booth. Here we go again. If the Sims Unleashed is installed, there should be some pet bowls, some dog houses, and a dog bath. There are no... Litter pans 
or beds that cats can use, <laughs> nor are there any pet fun items need. I say it zero stars. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. It feels it feels purposeful at this point it now. It does. Mm-hmm. Take offense. So we'll be moving on to Wren's Fens National Park. Established by Admiral Landgrab as his first colonial acquisition. Oof. This little corner of paradise has remained virtually untouched until today. Be it, uh, just a little disclaimer. Under the Plum Bob does not endorse colonialism. It is... Horrible. So or virtual touching. We or not, virtual touching. We do not condone that either. <laughs> six fair. feet. Six feet, exactly. Six yep. feet. Six feet. <laughs> Meter and a half. Um, <laughs> this forest lot is truly a bare bones lot. It has a single tent. A couple of porta potties, a sink, two camping chairs, a picnic table, a grill, a fire pit, and a rental shack. There are no showers or changing facilities. If the Sims plan to go to this lot from other areas of Vacation Island, they should change first if they can. So if you, you know, come up from the beach and you come here, maybe change out of your bikini before you come here. Now, due to the lack of motive for replenishing items, Sims should generally avoid staying for too long. This place sounds Super depressing. So only go here if you want to be like Bear Grylls. And sleep in a camel. Yes. Ugh. Ugh. You don't. <laughs> camel, guys. It was don't do that. Don't do that. No. Don't drink your own pee. Don't sleep in a camel. Okay. Oh, dear Next. God, no. <laughs> PSAs. If Unleashed is installed, there should be one or two food bowls and a doghouse. There are no litter pans or beds that cats can use, nor are there any pet fun items. There should also be a small building which sells seeds and pet iguanas. I'm not even going to say it. So maybe the last lot seriously got you down. You want something nicer, brighter, warmer. All right, we could do that. We'll take you to Palazzo Palms Hotel. Now that just really sounds vacation-y. As an island historic landmark, the Palazzo Palms Hotel has a rich and colorful heritage and attracts a rich and colorful crowd. Check it out when you check in. Get it? Get it? Sim- Sims-, Sims has jokes. Yeah, they they really did that, didn't they? <laughs> yep, they, they went there. They went there. They did it. Now, this beach resort has six rooms on two floors. The lower floor has three rooms with a no-tell motel double bed and a tight night single bed. Each room has a bathroom. Does a no-tell hotel double bed Uh means, like, you can Uh cheat on your people and we're not going to tell them about it? Oh, God, let's not. Let's Uh not. Sure, if that's Uh that's what you want to go for, (laughs) that's your headcanon. Sure, sure, sure. Um, each room also has a bathroom with a basic toilet and pedestal sink two rooms have a basic shower and one has a shower tub the upper floor also has three rooms two of them have two no-tell motel beds the other room has one no-tell motel bed a dolce tutti frutti sofa and a tv set so i guess that's sweet each room on the upper floor has a bathroom with a flush forest toilet and a shower tub combo now all the rooms have a dresser There are a uh, couple of changing tents outside. The lobby has two buffet tables, some dining tables, and an aquarium. So you can, you know, look at the fishies if you start feeling a little down. Next to the lobby, there's a shop that sells postcards, gift souvenirs, and kids' clothing. There's also a large public restroom with many toilet stalls. So definitely don't have no opportunity to pee yourself or, you know, poop in the woods. The upper floor has an outdoor bar. And that area has arcade games and a pinball machine. Outdoors, there's a pool, a hot tub, and a full range of carnival games. There are a couple of porta potties near the carnival games. So, you know, you can just run to the porta potty and back to the game so you don't have to take mm-hmm. two breaks too long. Yeah. If Unleashed is installed, <laughs> Mr. Bo, Speaky Scarlet, and Naviary should be in the lobby. The restroom area should contain a dog bath, and the shop should sell masks and pet toys. There should be rockers for the kids to ride outside. The lobby should have food bowls. The dining tables in the lobby should have big wake sage candles on them, and each room should have an expensive pet bed. 
There are no litter pans or scratching posts. I'm getting so sick of this shit. It is the largest hotel <laughs> on Vacation Island and is also the only lot on Vacation Island with two stories. And still no room for a litter box. Go fucking figure. <laughs> okay. So can you travel with the litter box? I don't I don't remember Sims 1 a lot, no, but no, can you put that no. shit into your inventory? There's no, no you would have to you would have to go to Vacation Island and go to the lot in build mode and put them there mm-hmm. yourself. Yep. It's a bunch of BS. Yep. It is. This is a bunch of bovine fecal matter. Yep. Fuck so, off. you know, screw Palazzo Palms Hotel. We are moving on to Sunset Beach. A romantic little corner of the island, our beach campground offers everything you need for a little fun in the sun. So Sunset Beach is a beachfront campground lot for Sims who don't want a resort but don't exactly want to rough it either. Semi-fancy maybe, like beach glamping, is that what you call it? Whatever. I think it has thing is a strong word. It I is mean, it's not glamping. No. <laughs> it's okay, well, but it's not glamping. You have to sleep in a tent, so that's not glamping. Uh, I guess. It glamping has... is a strong word. <laughs> I've never glamped before. I don't know what it is. I don't glamping. camp because I'm I'm afraid of bugs crawling in my ears, so I think if I was yeah. going to camp, it would be glamping. I've never camped either. Um but glamping is like when you're in a really nice not trailer what are they called are they just called Camper. campers yeah and they have a lot of them are nice they have full beds and a kitchen and a microwave and they have all the things you need inside a little you know camper and then there's sometimes the camper has a shower but usually there's showers on like the site so you're not really like camping you're usually isn't glamping where you're like on a lot with a bunch of other campers and you do like well activities? even if you are camping like you just you have like a super big like a you know boss ass camper that has all the amenities in it or you're in like a cabin that has all the amenities you're going camping yeah. in the forest in a cabin in which a is cabin. literally how I would yeah. do it if I was gonna do Me it I mean, I'm not talking about some like janky oh. cabin from like fucking Halloween I want like yeah. a nice a cabin nice. with a with like a full kitchen and a fireplace and a hot tub and shit yeah. like that like a real housewives clamp glamping moment right mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. they have the mm-hmm. nice like air conditioned tents or whatever like mm-hmm. that. yeah I can camp like mm-hmm. that <laughs> Well, That's my kind of hear all of that, I can only come to the conclusion that I'm definitely too poor for glamping. Oh, same, uh, yeah. same girl. Oh, yeah, same. same. That's why. That's why we've never been camping. Too poor. <laughs> I just imagine like this 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 white couple is like a sweater draped around their shoulders, sitting there yeah. holding like a champagne glass, going, "I'm so glad we decided to go camping this year. It's just positively." wonderful out here just that fresh air is so good for my complexion isn't it darling literally Ugh. oh indeed Ugh. <laughs> no but um literally like they're both in white somehow while camping and still never get dirty it's like how is this yeah possible? it's because they never go outside <laughs> <laughs> who ever they, thought they, that we'd be roughing it <laughs> no they go to like the patio to look at the, to take pictures like of the outside but they don't actually ever step outside yeah, like, yeah. off of their off of their patio off of their balcony they're just standing on the balcony only yeah, they, also have, they, they also have they also have mates class. Oh, can somebody tell the maid to get me a to get me a spritz? I'm just so hot <laughs> out here. Didn't you? Did you ever know we could survive without seven of our handmaidens? We only took three on this. We only trip. took I don't know. three. <laughs> I don't know how rich people work. Anyway. I bet the only people staying in a tent would be. I don't don't understand what it means to be rich. I've never been rich. Okay, no. My family was rich right before the dot-com crash in 2000. So we were rich for a little bit and then we lost it all immediately. So there you go. Well, this is is the thing. Um, When I get my title, remember, you guys can be part of my entourage. (laughs) And uh, we'll be rich then. Oh my God, will you take us glamping? Yes, oh, that's that's it. That's what we're doing. We're going glamping once Vanity Hashtag gets her title. Title for Vanity. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys, we need to make this happen because if 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 Vanity gets her title, gets married, and then, we get to go glamping. <laughs> we get yes. to go glamping, and we'll record an episode in the tent Walk. with. Them. Yeah. Okay, there's no All tent. Together. It's a cabin. We're going to record oh, a cabin. in the cabin. <laughs> In Let, the hot tub real. as we're glamping. <laughs> the really expensive glamping cabin will have better Wi-Fi than like all of us together. <laughs> <laughs> it has its own tower. <laughs> it literally has its own tower. 
<laughs> yep. Yep. Oh my god. Anyway, well, bringing this train no, back on track. No glamping for us yet, <laughs> so we are going to have to stick to the three tents on Sunset Beach, a bathhouse with a toilet stall and a couple of showers, and two redwood hot tubs. There's also a hot dog cart, a buffet table, and even a bar, so get those cocktails and get in the hot tub for some R&R. Sims can buy postcards on this lot, too. So, you know, you can send your friends and family a card that will arrive two weeks after you get home. Because that's what always happened when we did that. We always used to go on holiday to Spain, get a bunch of postcards. And then when we got back, we were all like, did you get our cards? No. Two weeks later, we got your card. It's like, oh, okay. Well, never mind. We paid for priority shipping, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Yep. For fun. But we still There's... love you, Post Office. Oh, yeah. We love you, Post Office. Sign the petition to save USPS. Sign it. Save, sign, save. It. sign it. Sign it. <laughs> My yep. dad just retired from the Post Office, so I need you guys to make sure that he still keeps his pension. Uh, yeah. And can I say also, if you are able-bodied, not immune compromised, and you have the privilege of having a voting uh, polling place in your city... I personally am going to go vote in person. Oh, me too. Because you cannot, you can, I am not leaving that to trust. I am getting oh, Kam- Kamala. Hello, the first woman VP. I cried when I heard that Kamala. Okay, we can cut this, but just so you guys know, I literally cried when I heard it was going to be a female VP. So I'm voting in person. If you have the privilege to do that, please vote in person because you know Trump's going to try some bullshit to... And oh, you voting. mean how like how he already Ugh. like started with the birtherism on her? Like he, I know that horse it's to like, death yet is it? Oh, God, it's so fucking annoying. It's so annoying. Why did they try to do that? Ugh, I, I can't talk about it. But if you have the privilege Wait, what, he to vote did what? in the city, he's trying to say she's not a citizen. Yeah. Oh my fucking god! How it's like, can we move on? Like, can we move on? She, of course, she, she was born in the U.S. She's a citizen. Who the fuck cares where her parents are born? You're born in America. You're a citizen. Doesn't matter. Doesn't and matter. Also, her parents came here legally, so that's fine. Exactly. Too. Like what the exactly. fuck? And even yeah, if like, they didn't come here legally, who fucking matters? It she was wasn't born like in the US. Trump's father or his grandfather or something. Weren't they immigrants as well? Of course, everyone's Maybe an immigrant. Yeah. Everyone's an immigrant, <laughs> unless you are. Literally an indigenous person listening to this podcast. Everyone else is an immigrant. <laughs> it doesn't fucking know. matter. It doesn't go to matter. Your polling place. It also go buy stamps from the post office, please. Yeah, support. Yeah, it's see, any petition, donate. Let's your try to end this post shit. office is still um, a government service. Ours is privatized, and it's pretty shit. So, oh, pray for your USPS. Anywho, anyway, we'll let's back. talk fun. What kind of fun can stuff I say? Can, you, hmm? can I say? Can I say? There's a Sunset Beach in San Diego. I used to live right by it. Oh, and um, pretty cool. I remember growing up playing this game, being like, "Oh, Sunset Beach. That's nice. really fun." It's just a fun fact. Oh, anyway, beach. moving on. That's cute. Well, <laughs> was there a pool on your Sunset Beach and a volleyball There's court nuts. and a fishing pier, a rental shack, rockers for kids to ride, and a fire pit? Nope. But it's next to Black Beach, which is the nudes beach. So that's fun. <laughs> yes, there's a nude beach in San Diego. Don't worry about it. <laughs> if Unleashed is installed. <laughs> if Unleashed is installed, there should be a pet's potential play palace, some food bowls, and some pet pets. <sighs> Anywho. <laughs> Our last lot the sims one is reclaimed public beach this civic beach has all the amenities you expect from a publicly funded redevelopment effort ignore the so-called environmentalists there is no record of any landfill having ever existed here (laughs) this is where sims can go on a day trip or a side trip as there are no places for them to sleep However, there are a couple of changing tents. Hungry Sims can grill or buy a hot dog. There are a couple of porta potties and sinks. For fun, there are carnival games, a couple of volleyball courts, a fishing pier, and a rental shack. If Unleashed is installed, there should be a couple of food bowls, but there are no other pet amenities. I'm just going to flip a table and walk away at this point. In. <laughs> 
in conclusion, this was a very fun pack because it gave you so many new places to go and things to see. Like, I remember very fondly how I used to sink hours and hours into the game playing arcade games, like the carnival mm-hmm. games, so I could get enough tickets to get that crystal skull before my Sims passed out mm-hmm. from exhaustion. Like, those were good yep. times. Good times. Yep, I did that too. I really liked that, um, uh, what is it called? Oh my god. The the Palazzo Palms Hotel. I stayed there quite a bit. Um, yeah, just same. because it has a little bit of everything. And as a kid, you know, when you're playing it, you're like, oh, there's arcade games or whatever. But I remember loving the reclaimed public beach because, <laughs> and this is probably bad, but it really reminds me of Mission Beach in San Diego. Another beach in San Diego. I don't know why, just the vibe is very Mission Beach vibe. So I liked going there too, like in the winter when we wouldn't go to Mission Beach. So anyway, fun fact, growing up in San Diego. But really quick, I just had to say this. I didn't want to interrupt. But <laughs> the um, the winter wear, do, can we talk about the winter wear really quick? Sure. Do you remember the booby top? Do you remember the booby? The um, booby top. <laughs> the booby <laughs> Ah, I do. They have really, <gasps> the really top. good winter I wear. Love yeah, that that is literally all I can say. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But let me tell you, anytime I had a single sim, she'd pop up in that booby top and go run around vacation trying to get a man. It was really fun. <laughs> pop up in that booby top. <laughs> I always chose that <laughs> that winter wear outfit. <laughs> I loved it. I just, I just. I love it so much. It was so great. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, that was The Sims 1, man. That was The Sims 1. Lots of nostalgia. Lots of disrespect against cats. But you know what? So much feline discrimination. A lot. I did not realize. Because I never took pets on vacation. So I didn't realize the discrimination. But it's pretty pretty rampant. It's crazy. Yeah, it's bad. It's rude. My cats are offended. They're also they asleep. Are. They should but be. if they were awake, they'd be so offended right now. <laughs> I love it. That is so cute. All right, who wants to talk about Sims 2? Or do you want to talk about still Ava? I mean, I can talk for ages. I have a feeling I, that Vanity will want to take on Sims 3. I do, yeah. actually. So, <laughs> And I am down to debate Sims 4. So, All right, boom. then All right. I will move on to Sims 3. Two, which was The Sims 2 Bon Voyage, also known as TS2BV, or simply Bon Voyage. For those of you who are not French savvy, Bon Voyage basically means good trip. It is the sixth expansion released for The Sims 2 in 2007. It was released on September 4th, 2007 in North America and September 6th, 2007 in Europe. I'm still salty. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the song for that. I was waiting too. for it. <laughs> Just, it's not right. Whisk Sims away from their everyday routines and take them on exciting trips to three exotic locations. Whether relaxing on a lush tropical island in luxury suite, camping with the family on a pristine mountaintop, or exploring the culture of the Far East, Sims will engage in new activities and experiences as they relax and rejuvenate. Transform them from bumbling tourists to savvy international travelers as they learn new customs, including local greetings, dances, and more to take home and teach to their friends. Send Sims packing for the trip of a lifetime. So, the I Sims it. 2. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, maybe I missed my calling. Maybe You maybe did. I, to... I want to be on vacation with your voice right now, Ava. <laughs> I mean, I've always wanted to, I, when I was a kid, I wanted, that's what job I wanted after being a doctor. I wanted to be a travel agent. And then I was really sad when I became an adult and they don't exist anymore. And <laughs> uh, if and if they I do, know. they're MLMs. And I was like really, mm, really no. sad about it. Because I was like, uh-huh. that was like my dream job. Especially when I watched, um, what is that one with it that she goes on vacation to Greece? It was it maybe if I had Greek writing when she's a... Yes, travel agent. Uh, travel agent. Yep. Yeah, it was my my big fat yes. Greek wedding. But there was mm-hmm. also another one where she was a, a travel guide in Greece. Mm-hmm. Yes, in Greece, yep. These are the things that I really wanted to. I really wanted to be that, and then I was really sad when that job disappeared, and I was like, "Why?" Can I say, I loved that movie growing up. Which we are not Greeks. So I have no idea why, but I absolutely loved that movie growing up. But when I was trying on wedding dresses, when 
I was engaged. My mom wanted me to try on this very traditional like lace dress and a lace veil that matched with it. And it had like sleeves and it was the whole thing. I got out of the dressing room and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was just like, uh, big fat Greek wedding, big fat Greek wedding, oh, <laughs> no. lace, curly hair, big, like curvy, big dress, like everything. I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And my mom was like, no, you look so nice. I'm like, get this off of me. I am not going to look like big fat Greek <laughs> wedding on my wedding day. <laughs> it was No, mom. <laughs> what was oh it again God. that you said? She looked like a snow beast. <laughs> that's, no that's exactly it oh my god sweating dresses go downhill very quickly when you've seen that movie <laughs> <laughs> right. anywho um the sims 2 sticks to the tried and true formula of three destinations you get tweaky island three <laughs> lakes yeah i know Sorry, that name is ridiculous Three Lakes and Takamizu yeah. <laughs> Village. So you get a tropical, mountain, and Asian-themed location, respectively. So no snow destinations. Seems boring, but okay. So you want a break from your hustle? Of course you do. So just pick up the phone or fire up that computer and you can book yourself a quiet getaway. Don't have vacation days, you say? That's okay. You don't need them. Once your sim leaves the lot to go on vacation, time and aging is frozen. If you leave at 10 a.m. in the morning on a Wednesday, that's the exact time you will return. It's like wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Am I right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Which I love. I wish they would almost bring that back in a way because that was pretty nice and right. convenient. But uh, I get it. That would be so nice. And look, wibbly wobbly. I know that's the one. And I know I have my gripes with Al Pine and his buddies and their blatant feel line discrimination, but Sims Two is kind of worse. You guys, because now you have to leave your pets at home. They can't come. Fido has to stay put, and Whiskers has to fend for himself. Rude. So rude. You also can't bring toddlers, but really, aren't you booking that vacation to get away from tantrums and potty training? I mean, that's what I'd do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So while on vacation, the main attraction is to travel to community lots and spend as much time as possible there, because Sims shouldn't waste their precious time at their lodging. I mean, sometimes you just want to stay in bed for a day, you know, because you're tired and maybe you flew to Canada and you're a bit jet lagged and you just sleep all day. Anywho, the time cont continuity works differently from going to community lots in the base neighborhood. The time and hours will keep going when Sims leave their lodging and when they're back at it, it'll just, it's, it's similar to the time mechanics in colleges. So if you do go to a community lot, it won't, it just keeps going. The difference is, however, that they can't learn skills or gain enthusiasm or build talent badges. Also, lifetime aspirations will not be accumulated, so Sims cannot exploit the extra days they get from going on vacations. They also gain temporary vacation benefits after they return from a good vacation or penalties if the vacation was bad. And there's, like, loads of stuff you could do. You could go when you were at the yeah. beach. There was, like, a new beach system where you could swim in the ocean. You could comb for seashells. I think you could, like, build sandcastles. Mm -hmm. In uh, the Asian-themed world, you could um, you could have tea ceremonies. And mm -hmm. there was a ninja there, I think, that you could encounter. Yeah. And, like, he could teach you how to teleport. It was yeah. pretty. And the like the food, um, there were the little food kiosks where you could try the different recipes, mm -hmm. like the all like the tweaky had like a pineapple surprise or whatever. Yep. It yep. was oh, really I fun. remember that pineapple surprise. Yeah. That was that looked good. I was wanted to try I know. The food man, looked this, good. This is going to man, Sims 3 though. Yeah. Gets into there too, and I'm just I'm, oh, does, I'm like yeah. biting my tongue about so many things, like that fortune <laughs> cookie. I'm biting it. I'm biting it. The one well, why her. don't we move over to The Sims Three then? Because that was basically it. It was the same system as The Sims One, and there was loads of shit to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <it>. Well, <laughs> hi guys. Um, here I come to my favorite, and it's Sims Three. It's World Adventures. <laughs> Okay. It's a pretty good pack. So, huh? It's a pretty good pack. It's so great. Oh okay. my god. So yeah. One of my favorites. Sims, Sims 3 World Adventures, firstly, was just bomb diggity. Secondly, um, they actually gave you like kind of, I'm doing real in quotation marks, but real places. You know what I mean? Um, so you got to go to different places in the world. Like you literally 
picked up your phone or you went on and you booked your vacation, you booked your flight and your SIM freaking left. So you got to go to Al Samhara, Egypt. So that's this place sells the best cameras in the game. Like, okay, so I'm going to the places and then I'm going to go back. So Al Samara, Egypt, Champs les Sims, France, and then Shang Simla, China. So each place had like things that they were known for. So like when you went to Egypt, you can explore like fucking caves and like a caves, but like tombs and things. And um thinking about it um okay so each place has the things that they're known for though like so in egypt they sell the best cameras in the game and um you get a new photography skill when you go there which is pretty 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 bomb in france you can make nectar which is basically wine um and you can stomp the grapes with your feet (laughs) it was Mm -hmm. so fun um you can brew drinks to serve at parties um and then also france which is really pretty like no joke. But my favorite was actually China, um, because you get to learn them. You get to learn the martial arts. You got those little. Um, now you can buy the martial arts things like back at home. I think. But also, like, if you hmm? martial arts was one of my favorite things because the animations for martial arts looked amazing. I yeah. know it was so cool. But I love martial- the terracotta. I just love that they added the real sights, so it really felt like you were going to that place, Mm -hmm. you know, because when is, you know, a little, little girls from wherever you were a little girl, vanity, Germany, Texas, I don't know, little girl in San Diego and a little girl in the net, not Netherlands, Belgium, Ava. Yep. Yep. Where would we, good save, good save. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't know nothing about your part of the world. Sorry. Um, Where would they, when would they be able to go to Egypt? When would they be able to go to France and to China you know, those aren't realistic goals for for these young young ladies like us. So it's just so great making wine on the Parisian countryside, you know, learning martial arts with the terracotta army next to you, exploring the catacombs of the ancient pyramids. I mean, come on, what more do you want in a game pack? Okay, this is fucking okay, amazing. but but can I just <laughs> can I just interrupt real quick? Um our sweet, sweet editor Melissa her world adventure sim was an homage to Indiana Jones. Her name was Arizona Smith, and she had a dog <laughs> named Indy who traveled with her. I love Peak. it. Peak. Peak. Love it. <laughs> I God, love that. So one of my favorite parts about that was, like, when you – because to get to different places, you had to, like, you know, ride your little bike. And your little, or your, little, 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 your, little, your little moped. Or your little moped. Oh, I love – I always got the moped. Sometimes I would literally – Go somewhere just to get the moped, and then I would go somewhere else just because I loved the moped so. But it just looked so like okay, so so cute. My my cancel trip to Rome. One of the one of the big things that I wanted to do on my birthday, and I made everybody agree to do this, was I wanted to do a mo. I wanted to get on a moped, and I wanted somebody to play the vacation no no uh, Rome if you want to song. Oh, and I, I we're wanted to. Valari. No, no, because every time you see a there, every time you see a freaking movie where the, the if I'm like the 2000s where they went to Rome, it was always Rome if you want to. I see, Rome, for me, it was always Valari. The but then but I then wanted I, to be on the moped. Hmm? Then again, it was only Lizzie McGuire that I saw where they did that, uh, and then it was same. Yep. <laughs> yep. But I wanted to be on the moped. I wanted somebody to play that song, and I wanted to have a scarf that was flowing behind me, and I wanted to have a whole video of me doing this. Yeah. And um, let me tell you how that's one of the biggest pieces of the of my trip that was canceled that I'm really really sad about because I had gotten everybody to agree to do this, and they were going to repl- someone was going to play the song, someone was going to record it, and I was going to be the back of a moped because with whoever moped driver in front of me because you can't do it by yourself yeah also yes, you probably I've... shouldn't do it by yourself because let me tell you italians especially in rome are fucking nuts on the road like when we went there with school jesus christ crossing the street oh, was an adventure my... let me tell you yes um friendly neighborhood of Melissa, my vespa tour that was what's going to be i was going to be like on the i was going to be clutching the and you and even if he was a hideous looking guy in the front you couldn't tell i'm just like clutching the back of some you know mysterious italian dude as i'm doing my italian tour it was gonna be magical 
So wear your fucking masks so Vanity can go to yeah. Italy and do a goddamn Vespa tour. You selfish oh. jerk. Please, please, I just, I'll share the video with you guys after I do it. It's, I'm just going to edit it. It was going to be so fucking cool. Oh my God. I would have I would <laughs> fan art. We need fan money. art of Vanity oh. on the back of a Vespa. If you guys can draw, do it. Or do if it. you have Sims 3 installed, can you just... Take a screenshot of a vanity sim on a moped thing. Look, she's on the gallery. <laughs> in vanity, Sims 3? he's on the gallery. Uh, no, oh yeah, in Sims. so you can she's in Sims Four, not Three. You can, you can. What is that? Co- Combobulate. You can look at the Sims Four vanity, memorize make a the Sims features, mm-hmm. and then make a Sims Three. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god we've lost it. <laughs> I just had so many things. Anyway, um, so that's why I love that, like, a little moped scooter thing that they did. But one of the coolest things about all of that is you had, like, that quest board or the quest person. And then you would go to, like, talk to that per- that lady in France. And she'd be like, oh, well, I just need to find this one. Baseball. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. First it was a treasure. First it was a treasure. It was like, my treasure mm-hmm. that I lost at this ruin. And then you you find it and it's a baseball. It's so stupid. And then she's like, but I, I was like, I was like, okay. So then you go down to the ruin. Make sure if you do go into the ru- any of the ruins, make sure you have a tent. Make sure you have that shower in a can. Make sure you have some of those weird food nuggets. <laughs> make sure. The food nuggets. <laughs> the they food were. nuggets. <laughs> make sure you have some food nuggets because. Yep, the dried food nuggets. Also, shower in a can. Bring shower yeah. in a can. Shower if in a can. If you encounter fire traps, shower mm-hmm. in a can will be your best yep. friend. Because mm-hmm. you will mm-hmm. set yourself on fire and then you will have that to automatically put it out. And there are little like mm-hmm. mini games. They're like, you have to push the statue this way and that oh, way to God, yeah, open the up the puzzle. door. So it was so fun. Oh my so gosh, fun. it was so much fun. I loved and, it. Um, so you had to go find different things and put your hand into the thing or dive into the pool and like yeah. go to the bottom of the pool yep. and find a oh, key. Oh yeah, the diving key. well. Oh, that was, so... was so great. Okay. And then you would look, spend nights in there. <sighs> story time with Ava. Um, when I was 20 years old, I moved from Belgium to Scotland on my lonesome all by myself. First great big adventure. And I started living in Largs, which is like a small, like coastal town in Scotland. But I worked in Greenock, which was like half an hour away. And that's where all my friends lived. But I had to go and live in Largs like an idiot. And that expansion pack came out right in that like first couple of months that I was there. And it basically got me through a really, really rough time because I was alone. All my friends lived too far away, so I was constantly sitting in my room alone playing The Sims, and that expansion pack was a light in, like, a brief period of darkness, and I fucking love it so much. I even have the strategy guide for it. Oh, I love it. I still have that that guide. (laughs) So the cool – I just (laughs) – that game did so much. Like, it just – it was – and I feel like they tried to do a junk with jungle adventures. They tried, mm-hmm. they tried it. They tried you know what I mean? But yeah. like, it wasn't the same. So the cool thing about it was also like, you could only learn, like learn nectar making in France. Yep. Mm-hmm. You could only learn certain things in the, co- you had to go there. And then, and then they had their own recipes. Like if you wanted to, yes. like, if you wanted to complete the um, recipe thing, you had to go to the countries and get the recipes. You couldn't get them anywhere else. Like the egg rolls, you could only get them in China. Um, I think they had, they had, what was the French one? I think they had like ratatouille. Frog they had, frog they had, legs, legs. ratatouille. Because we talked about that. Yeah, yes, we talked frog, about legs. frog legs. Frog legs has yep. come up. <laughs> but yes, uh, uh, by the yeah, way, Marissa, uh, I love the way you say legs. Frog legs. Legs. Legs? What's wrong? Legs? I love the way you say legs. What? I say legs weird? I know I say pillow weird. <laughs> oh, dear. But everyone everyone calls me out for saying pillow weird, but I didn't know I said legs. Weird. <laughs> All right. Stop talking forever. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just love the way you say it. It's like legs. <laughs> How else do you say it? Le. Le- how else do you legs. say it? Legs. Let eggs. Like egg. Let le- eggs. I'm saying that. Legs. 
<laughs> okay, okay. It's, it's lost. It's lost meaning now. It's done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading I'm reading our friendly na- neighborhood editors uh, uh, the eggs the <laughs> <laughs> eggs can you legs can, can you can you hear the difference Ava is it just me I can hear the difference actually yeah okay I will say my husband says bagel Oh, and it is no. the weirdest thing. He says bagel. The first time he said it to me, he was like, oh, should we get some bagels in the morning? I was like, what the heck is that? And he's like, a bagel. You eat cream cheese with a boba? I'm like, a bagel? I literally had no idea what he was saying. He says bagel. Okay, so how do you say thing. bagel? The A? Say so that with legs. B-A-A. Le- oh, legs? Legs. Oh, you were so close. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's sad? No. You know what's when really, you, when really you sad? When you listen to this back, you'll see, you'll hear it. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Um, you know what's sad? Well, I know I say pillow wrong. I know I say that wrong. I know it's pillow. But pillow just doesn't feel right in my mouth, so pillow feels more natural, so that's why I say it. So leave me on that. I know I say it wrong. Um, legs, I have never heard. I know I say frustrated wrong. It's frustrated, and I say frustrated. Yeah, I know quite a few of my, my little quirks. All, all of these are all of these are fine. I just really, really thought it was funny because I I like the way it sounds when you say it. Like how many people say um, they say baggy, they say baggy, bag, bag, like I can't do it, but it's like some baggy. Weird yeah, mix. I had I had a friend who said instead of like a purse, like someone's bag, they called it a bag. I think like oh my, I need to uh-huh. go grab my bag. I was like okay, <laughs> <laughs> well all right then, uh, all right. So well, anywho, back to world adventures yeah we can cut that (laughs) no we're not because i want people to hear it um (laughs) but uh anyway i just if you never played sims 3 world adventures i mean just go buy base game sims 3 and then buy world adventures it's the only thing that you yeah it's probably so cheap but it's so good Oh, it's and you so can go, fun. and then you would get like you would find things in in like the the caves and like different stones or whatever, and then you can bring them back and you can display them on your little yes. trophy wall. Oh. <sighs> Literally, okay. Can I tell you what I did? I would make a girl. I'd have her. This is this is my route. I'd have her go to Egypt, get a moped, get a camera, find a hot Egyptian man, take him to France. Learn wine making, have a romantic time, get married, super romantic, all this stuff. Then go to China, learn martial arts, get super athletic, eat a lot of Chinese food. Everything's great. Then they would go back home and live their merry little lives and have kids and everything. I literally would do that every single time I started a new save. She had, I had to have my girl go to all the different places and get all, go to all the different catacombs and do all the different things and get all the touristy things and the bow pads and all the stuff I couldn't get and then I would go finally go back home redecorate her house and get everything taken care of and have a normal life but oh my god I just loved world adventures so much it was so fun I would spend hours just exploring all the different places oh, oh so fun <laughs> seriously so much fun uh oh, so great I would honestly like the minute I'd make a new sim they would immediately go on vacation and the best part was like you can like have a vacation romance and like you can like romance like romance the guy (laughs) you can like have a nice okay vacation romance little like holiday holiday action but it's really funny because they don't you'll never see them again in the game like unless you go back yeah, you have to like you have them. to you have to invite yeah. them over and they might not come yeah and then you uh-huh. and then so you have to keep like your romance just becomes like very you know night a day fiance you know like oh, it's great I'm so into it, that. <laughs> it was i would always try to romance somebody when i went to any of my con- other countries and then i would just keep up the phone calls with them for a while then i'd be like do you want to come like visit and they would come visit i'd have them move in with me but i'd have to like hope that it would work out and sometimes they said no and i was like really sad about it so like but i feel like it was me preparing myself for 90 day fiance 
So. Uh, one day I will be a 90 day fiance. I want to, but no, uh, see, I'm not bringing you here. I want to go there. So 90, 90 day the other way is how I want to roll this. So <laughs> 90 day the other way. <laughs> That's funny. It's a, it's a show. It's when they're going to the other country instead of the people coming here. Anywho, but yes. So um, let's see. Oh, you can get like it was just there was it was so much action packed and then you got oh you got oh i totally forgot about the coolest part about this it was your visa like mm-hmm. you had to get um it it which basically put how long you could stay in the um in the te- in the country how long your vacation was so you get like a visa yeah. level 0 um and then you have to you have to actually complete adventure quests to get your visa up that's the max level that you can have is visa level three um which means that you can like buy more items and then um you have to it's like it oh it was so great um i loved that it, but it was also kind of hard because you know yeah you needed like you had a to lot, like what you, you could you couldn't do it and you couldn't do it in one sitting you had to like no you only, you only got like i think um, like Z three days for level zero, you could not mm-hmm. max it. You had to like, so you had to come yep. back. Um, but level three, you can get like ten to twelve days, so it was pretty sweet. And then it didn't matter, like at the end, like you know, if your job or whatever, you can just leave. So there you go. So great, so fun. We love a Sims three moment. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where did Ava go? I'm still here. Oh, enjoying <laughs> the conversation. Don't mind me. I was like, oh god, did she cut out? Did she cut out? I haven't heard her talk to anybody. No, 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 no. I'm here, I'm here. Good. Okay. But yes, um Ooh. And then you can like sell the relics you find, which I find I find that part kind of skeevy. I was like, I don't want to sell my relics. Like, ooh. Um but I just wish you could live there, but you can't. I know some of the houses were so cute. Mm-hmm. Like, you can get close. Oh. You can get super close to living there. I actually did the math. Well, no, that's a lie. I didn't do the math. Uh, Sims Wiki did the math. I copy pasted the math. But the math is there. So basically, the higher your visa level, the longer you can stay. At level zero, you can, you can stay a max of three days. At level three, you can stay a max of 10 to 12 days. In addition to higher visa levels, vacation length can be increased by having the prepared traveler lifetime reward and a certificate of partnership of specified destinations, which can be purchased from the special merchant. Both benefits add an additional three days to the vacation length. The benefits the benefits stack from each sim traveling to a destination. So by having eight sims travel with three uh, with a level three visa level, each possessing the lifetime reward and certificate, it is possible to have a maximum of twelve plus eight times three plus eight times three, which equals sixty days of vacation. Oh. Huh. Intriguing. But if your but if your sim doesn't start does aging doesn't happen while you're on vacation, you'll never die. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Go on vacation, live forever. <gasps> I mean, can oh I be my thing? I feel like I also really loved Sims 3 because at the time, like I was not traveling as much as I do now. Well, not now, because, you know, Rona. But you know what I mean. And they let, they let me, like, kind of live out my want to travel to so many different places. Like, Sims 3 was just magical. And I, I, it holds such a special place in my heart, which is why when they came out, and they, when Sims 4, I was like, they're going to do this again. It's going to be so great. And then I got Jungle Adventures, and I was like, eh. Yeah, there's... I don't Pretty know. much, that, that was jungle yeah. adventures for me. It was like, ooh, uh. yeah. I did it in like a day, basically. I don't know. Should we yeah. go to to Sims Four now? We were going to talk about Island Paradise, but we have talked about it quite a bit when we reviewed Island Living. So you guys know there's houseboats you can build on the water. There's diving. There's a kraken. We know it's better than Sims 4, okay? I yes, just do want to mention that, yes, okay, technically Island Paradise is not a vacation destination. It's a whole new world that you can live in. However, Enroz, the patron saints of Sim, the patron saint of Sims 3 lovers, um, 
basically made a mod called Traveler, which made it so that you can basically go on vacation in any other Sims 3 world. So technically you could go to Isla Paradiso on holiday if you had that mod installed. But, you know, if you want us to talk more about Island Paradise, let us know. We can do a deep dive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Deep dive so deep into the Island Paradise. We'll find the Kraken. <laughs> you could become best friends with the Kraken and then uh, stick them on your enemies. It was great. Pretty badass. All also, right. They so did now. Mermaids well. They did do mermaids well. Yeah. So now for the disappointment of the of the episode, Sims 4 Outdoor Retreat. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. is it's fine. To be honest, um, I'm just gonna like float myself a little bit here. I got a bonus check at work. Hey, essential worker. So Yay. um Dylan basic my husband basically because I was just gonna put it all in savings because I'm a, a responsible almost 30-year-old woman. And Dylan was like, you know what? Fuck it. Just buy it. Just buy whatever you want with that three hundred dollars. I'm probably still gonna put majority of it into savings, but I did buy all the expansion packs that I was missing from Sims for. So I got outdoor retreat, parenthood, and uh something else I forget. Um so I played with outdoor retreat last night. And it's cute. It's fun. Um, the little Granite Falls National Park is pretty cute. You go on vacation um, and you can rent different lots. So there's a campground for $111 a day. Riverside Retreat, $228 oh my God, $282 a day. Green Getaway, $397 a day. Forest Hideaway, $635 a day. And Lakeside Retreat, $892 a day. Lakeside Retreat is very nice. Okay, there's new skill, herbalism. You can be a new aspiration, outdoor enthusiast. Enthusiast. There's some new collectibles, fish, insects, and herbs. Um, there's also some new rewards. So you can have a great storyteller if you're telling stories by the campfire. You can be a stove or a grill master. And you can be incredibly friendly. So it gives a boost to friendship. Which, actually, wouldn't... If you got the... The reward, incredibly friendly. Maybe that would help with eco lifestyle, like convincing people to be, you know, to go along with your um, eco lifestyle. You know, what is that called? The neighborhood initiative. The neighborhood action. Neighborhood, neighborhood action, action plans. plans. Would that I help? hate those things. I'm just saying. I'm not yeah. a fan. Maybe that would help. See, I haven't had a re- outdoor retreat, so I don't know all the details of it. But that's really interesting. Anyway, so you can go on vacation. You can do all these fun things. It's a lot like Jungle Adventure. But Jungle Adventure, I wouldn't say Jungle Adventure is a vacation. Would you guys? It's I Jungle Adventure was just a giant letdown. But yeah, yeah. Jungle Adventure is like when <laughs> I still I still can't figure out how to learn Salvadorian language do the Salvadorian dance or learn the food. I still can't figure that out. They say to ask the like certain Sims. I can't find those Sims. I don't have the interaction with any of the local Sims. So I feel like Jungle Adventure is so buggy. Like it doesn't even work half the time anyway. Jungle Adventure is like when I went to Fredericksburg for a vacation. That's a place in Texas and thought that'd be anything else but old people drinking wine (laughs) on the street. Jungle Adventure is great in theory, but then when practicality happens, you're like, well, this is a bunch of expensive bullshit. (laughs) Yeah, it's not great. But I really like the build by in Jungle Adventure. It's really, really cool. Um, And if you see, we're not camping people, but if you grew up camping, I think you'll really like Outdoor Retreat. And then you can go into the forest. You can discover new things. You can find the hermit. Ooh, the hermit. So exciting. Anyway, so I don't know. It's it's fine. It's a fine pack. And with Outdoor Retreat, you're able to do the um, that challenge where you start with no money and you have to like camp in a tent or not in a tent, but in a like the inflatable mattress and all that stuff. And you have to like cook food over the fire. So I don't know. They make challenges more fun, I guess. And you have the cooler, you know, so I can actually do those challenges now that I have Outdoor Retreat. So that's something. But what I really wanted to talk about was uh, island living. So would you guys consider this a vacation pack or a lifestyle pack? 
I think it's a lifestyle pack. It's not a vacation yeah. because you don't because all the vacation packs in previous things like you you don't live there. You come and then you or you have to be you're kicked out basically after a certain amount of time. Pretty mm-hmm. much with mm-hmm. with life with island living, like you live there. You don't. There's no really like. I mean, I guess I would think of it more of like when those rich white people want to go retire in Costa Rica. That's what I feel like it is. Like yeah. when you watch like House Hunters International or whatever, and they're like, I just really, I went to Costa Rica and then I fell in love with the people and the cheap housing because I'm from America and my dollars are going to go fa- further than here. So I'm going to buy up all your real estate because I'm an asshole. And, um, and they buy a house down there and they, uh, you know, suck all the life out of local people. That's what yep. I feel like island living is. You know what? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Especially because at the top, uh, like, left-hand corner of the map, there's that, like, it's like the rich area, you know? Mm-hmm. That's and where there's, they like, all super are. super rich house, yeah. So I agree. I do think it's a lifestyle pack. But I kind of appreciate that because people who live, you know, in, in an island – that's just their life. That's just how they live. Like it's not a destination for them. It is entirely just how they live. So I kind of appreciate that they didn't make the beach pack or the mermaid pack a vacation pack. They made it an actual, you know, this is just the island life. Basically, this is just how people live. I mean, I don't know how accurate it is, but I do appreciate that. I think that was pretty forward thinking of them. Do I wish that they had made the vacation? I mean, hello, Sims Sims 1. Three different vacation destinations with at least three different hotels or lodgings within those, you know, vacation spots. There's so also many the opportunity to buy a uh, vacation homes once you hit visa level three. Yeah, yeah. You didn't even, and, you didn't have to yeah, you didn't have to slum it in the in the hotel anymore. You could just buy your own little slice of paradise near an Egyptian oasis. Fuck yeah. You could buy your, yeah. your nectar making place in uh in in France. I can't say vineyard cuz it's not wine, it's nectar. Nectar. You could yeah. You could do that. <laughs> yeah. You could buy your nectary. And even for I just, storytelling. I just don't under I just don't understand why they couldn't call it wine. Like it, it's, it's a wine children's tra- game because it's wine they mention alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, they couldn't mention team. alcohol because it, it would they would need a higher rating for the mention of alcohol. They're squishing they grapes and making nectar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what they call woohooing. They call it woohoo and not sex or whatever because it's mm. teen Go rating. off sis. <laughs> But, and I really do miss vacation homes in The Sims 4 because I actually used to use it for storytelling. So if I had a couple that got divorced, I would get a vacation home and one of the parents would live in the vacation home. Because you can send someone to live in the vacation home in Sims 3 and not play them and go back to your active household. So that's what I used to do. I used to send one of the parents to the vacation home. And then if it was the kid's the time for the kid to be there, I would send them over to the vacation home and just play the one parent and then I'd flip back. You know what I mean? There was a lot more flexibility with storytelling with that. And it's super disappointing we don't have that with The Sims, right? Like we don't have any... Anyway, but you know, it's disappointing. But whatever, we're expecting it now. But we do have, you know, an island living. I'm pretty sure we also have an episode about outdoor retreats. So, you know, if you want to do a deep dive on those, you totally can. I just... I just feel like I feel like Sims 3 was like peak and then Sims 4 just every iteration of it just pissed me off even more. Yeah. To That's the yeah, point where like, I was It's like yeah. Sims 3 we like oh we put in too much and the game was too buggy. We're not going to make that mistake again and then they give us Sims 4 and there's hardly anything in it. Yeah, exactly. That's why I wish they would go back to just stuff packs and just expansion packs. Because looking at, like, going through the research on this and researching for this episode, so much stuff was in Sims 2, Sims 3, even Sims 1 for what you could do for the vacation. Especially Sims 3, all the different activities and things you could do. World Adventures has a guide. Like, a legitimate multiple-page game guide. How many Sims 4 packs have a game guide? None of them. You don't need a game guide. You can you can basically figure it out in about half hour. 
You know what I mean? Like you don't need that much time to figure this out. So that's why I think you if know- a Sims 5 does come out, cut the game packs. Expansion packs and stuff pack. Stuff pack is only items, casts, you know, and build. really, really build build items, yeah. Very like large, like you know, the HM pack and the IKEA pack, like very large, expansive stuff packs of just stuff, no gameplay. And then expansion packs have a gameplay and have all the other stuff because it's this, just ridiculous. This is legitimately, I think the the more that we do these broad spectrum ideas where like, like when we did the Magic Across the Sims, like um, yeah. when we did yeah. stuff like that, the more that we do these broad spectrum ones, the more that you, see, the more you see the holes in Sims 4 and the more I realize why I don't play as much anymore, it's because I'm bored Mm. And like before I wasn't like Sims three, I would play for hours and hours and hours and hours. Like I would lose days and, you know, I would fixate on it with Sims four. Like I go in when I get a new pack and I play for an hour and by yeah, that hour, weekend. I have, yeah. yeah, by the, by that time, like I've gotten what I needed and I just peace out. And then I feel to myself, you just spent $30 on something that you've literally played for probably a total of four hours. And the, it almost makes me not want to buy anything else anymore. Like, I'm just like, I don't know if I want to buy things just to, I feel like I'm just wasting my money. I buy them for the podcast, but to be honest with you, Same. Like I, the, the reason why I've bought as many expansion yeah. packs that I've bought so far is for this podcast. It hasn't been for my actual to. enjoyment. I would not have bought eco living if it wasn't mm-hmm. eco lifestyle or whatever, if it wasn't for this Me podcast, too. to be honest. Same. And I have, I haven't touched it since. So, yeah, I like the apartments. That's all I like. And I wish they were in uh, other neighborhoods, those little apartments. I don't understand why they can't be in other neighborhoods. Like, again, not putting it in Willow Creek, but they could have put it in Delso Valley. They could mm-hmm. have even had it in in the um, Island Living. Oh, my God. What was that neighborhood called? The Beach? Oh, my God. What was Sulani? They could have oh. put it in Sulani. Oh, yeah. They can't you know, like those. Like, a vacation condo yeah it's just it's it's frustrating i think that they're they're making all these game packs when they could have condensed a lot of this stuff and i feel like we say the same thing every time we record just about and you know i know the what is she like the manager of the sim she came out and was kind of saying a couple of them have come out a couple of the sim gurus have come out and said kind of like apologize and said hey we're trying our best guys like we're going to make some changes, but you know, it's how long has it's been out for six years now. And they're just now kind of saying, Hey, we're not doing our best. Like really? It's just, insane. they're not doing their Kanye best. They are not. And I don't know how much of it is that there's so much overhead on the Sims team that they can't like get out from under it and they can't make a better game. Or if it's just, that they, I don't know, you know, I have no idea that they're not really listening, but they say they're listening, but they're not. We're continually disappointed. You know, I just feel like there's a huge communication issue and I don't know how to fix it. And so, you know, whatever. <laughs> I get it, girl. Like, we know the devs are doing their best, but it just, yeah, I mean, they're working with wrong. what they have. They're working. With, yeah, exactly. There's too and much. Whatever is ahead. wrong, I think it's just coming from a pie, and that's the problem. Yeah. yeah. And, and but we've we've mentioned of, that a lot. I think people. Yeah, know we have. Now. But the thing that just that just annoys me when I hear them say, "Oh, it's just really difficult," like the bunk beds. Oh, it's just really difficult to animate it. Well, and a modder does it perfectly. It, well, one yes, or a adults does it and toddlers. Yes, that just came out. The other thing that kills me is they've done this. Sims 3 had bunk beds. Even Sims 4 has ladders. Like, why didn't ladders come out with, well, why didn't it come out years ago? But why didn't it come out with Island Paradise? Why didn't ladders come out with Tiny Living? There's just, there's no good excuse for that. Like, oh, it's hard to animate bunk beds. Well, that's your whole fucking job. (laughs) Can't you just hire one person to figure out animating the bunk beds? Like, like, if look, a man, modder if modders can do, it, can do it, then hire the fucking modders to do it for you. Yeah. It's the same with those skin tones. 
Like oh, you say, God. you say, you you say you have trouble with the skin tones to get them to hire black and people. Exactly. <laughs> like you have two people. <laughs> you have these two people who do it amazingly. Like c- hire them reach as out consultants. To them. Hey, reach out yeah. to them. Work with them to yeah. make it work. And I don't remember. I think it was Sim Guru Grant. Don't quote me on it. But he, one of the Sim Gurus came out and was talking about oh, you know, we're working on the skin tones and it's really hard and blah, blah, blah. And he was saying, you know, we don't we don't rely on modders. We don't, like, rely on modders to fix the holes in our game. We want the game to be complete on its own because the console people can't have mods. So we want to make sure the game is complete. But that just feels so disingenuous to me because they do rely on modders. Because if they didn't rely on modders, they would have come out with skin tones a long time ago. Unless... He is basically admitting to saying that it wasn't important until white people started talking about it, right? Which is Is what I feel like. I don't feel like black people need to be saved by white people. We're telling you all what we need to do, but it didn't matter until little Simsy said something. I fucking hate it. I'm done. Yeah, (sighs) that's that's what I'm saying. Like, would they have done this? Would they have had this conversation with us if the Black Lives Matter movement didn't happen, if George Floyd didn't get murdered? Would this have changed? I don't know. Because white people are involved now. Probably not. It's been six years and nothing changed. Well, actually, no, they added that Caribbean thing. And didn't they add, like, one new black skin tone, which was ashy as fuck, so it didn't even matter? You know what I mean? Uh, They (laughs) had an attempt that went terrible, and then they just never sought to fix it. So it just... All of their words just kind of don't feel genuine to me. And I think it's one of those actions speaks louder than words. Like you come out with awesome skin tones, you start coming out with right content or just stop blowing smoke up your own ass because we've seen for years now that nothing is really happening. So why are we going to believe you now? I guess. I don't know. And that might be very controversial to say this, but this is how I feel. I don't know. (laughs) I'm here for it. Well, guys, uh, that has been um, that <laughs> has been that. We tend to make a habit. We tend to make a habit of these. <laughs> these oh, these sorry. Guys. We sorry. In, we we end all of our broad spectrum, um, like things with some kind of a rant, and I don't, I don't, I'm not even mad at it. I feel like we're just, I'm not even mad at it. And is, if you're mad at it, stuff- let us know. But then we also realize we probably don't care. Well, and not, it's not that we don't care. I mean, genuinely, you could be listening and say, you know, that I don't care about bunk beds. I don't care about this and that. I don't care about prom. Like, there are a lot of things that aren't that aren't in Sims 4 that I don't really care about. So, you know, that's fair if these things don't bother you and vacation stuff doesn't bother you. That's fine. But you, you have to admit, like, The Sims 4 is a very incomplete game. For no fucking reason. Like, why is it so incomplete? Don't doesn't make sense, but I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that was vacations, guys. Bye, Cassio. Let's, let's uh let's uh let's open up the dialogue. Which vacation pack did you think was best? Was it Sims 1? Was it Sims 2? Were you a world adventures kind of person? Or do you prefer outdoor retreat? It's possible. It could happen. Maybe tell us why. Help us understand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you have screenshots of your Sims 1 Sims in the booby tops, please mm-hmm. screenshot or please tag us in it and we can all laugh together. It was so great. I loved the booby tops. They're my favorite. And also, <laughs> if you are an artist and you want to rec- uh, draw me on the back of a Vespa with a scarf flowing in the back. I like purple, by the way. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that'd be great. Just, I would really like that. I'd make it as my new screen. I would also love to see that. New merch idea? Are we asking for merch? <laughs> what? What's happening? <laughs> I mean, look, I'm here for it, okay? So, um, please and thank you. I just would love it. I never got to go on my vacation. So. I know. So do that for Vanity. Get her title. Get her stoves. Get her horses. Vanity has a lot of things stacking up. We got to wow, take care I of her. Wow, I just sound really needy. I mean, <laughs> no. any of these things on their own, I'd be okay with, okay? like, But the title and the picture are the most important to me right now. The fact that we've done this podcast for basically two years now, 
and none of the things that you wanted has come out, I think says more about EA than we can ever talk. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, right? <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, All right, guys. Well, so, upcoming episodes. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. This is what we're going to do. Next time you hear us at Team Cow Plant, we're going to be talking about family values, how the standard nuclear family has evolved over the four iterations of the franchise, which I'm so excited to talk about. Sociology major here. We love a family dynamic. And I'm super excited to listen to this episode. Team Llama is doing another draft episode, but... Llama is going to be creating an outfit based on cast items that we picked. I'm so (laughs) pumped. (laughs) Literally every outfit that you've heard us be salty about or hairstyle or accessory, it is coming back. Oh my God. I cannot wait to listen to this. It's going to be so funny. (laughs) It's going to be good. here for this. All right. And then uh, if you got to, if you want to send that picture to me, um, or my title, or anything else about uh, this episode, or any episodes in general, you can find us on so many places to talk about it. So we're Plum Bob Cast on Instagram and Twitter, and our DMs are open. Um, and then we're Plum Bob Podcast on Reddit. I don't know if you could DM on that, but fine. If you do, find it out. Um, and under the Plum Bob Podcast on Facebook and Tumblr, which again, send us a message. Um, our website is under the Plum Bob.com. And you can either use the contact form, which will go to our email, or you can just go to our email, which is under the Plum Bob podcast at gmail.com. So all of those ways you can contact us. Give us your ideas. Give us your gripes about the vacation packs. Let me know if you if you got to ride a Vespa with um, the Rome If You Want To song. Um, if a picture of you doing that, that'd be great, too. Um, you know, whatever. Um and we're also on Twitch and YouTube where we provide content. So follow us on social meds so that we can, uh, we'll, we'll tell you when we're streaming. So do that. Uh, yeah. And where'd you get all your info from, Ava? I got all of my stuff from the Sims Wiki because they are amazing. Mm-hmm. So thank I got you, all Sims my Wiki. stuff from Carl. Oh, and let's say a little prayer for Carl. I think he still has the rones. And if he doesn't, let's make sure he has no lingering side effects. We love you, Carl. Be better, do better. Hopefully, if you got the rona, your lungs are staying healthy and you're keeping yourself healthy. Because that's the other misinformation in America right now is that you get corona and you either are totally fine or you're dead. And that's not accurate. A lot of people have lasting issues from corona. (laughs) So all the best. Thoughts and prayers. Fight the grown-up. Be fine or you're dead. <laughs> it's my favorite. Right? That's it is. Because so guys, I got the Rona in my, and it's still kind of hard for me to catch my breath sometimes. So I'm not dead, but I'm not totally fine. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. Um, but we thank you guys for listening. And please do not forget to um, rate and review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. The review part is very important because that's what helps with the algorithms or whatever. So please, if you give us five stars, at least just put like stoves for vanity in the comments mm-hmm. or, you know, whatever. I don't care. Just tell me your favorite color and I'll be like, ooh, that's my favorite color too. Or why do you like black? I also like black. Whatever. Don't care. We read them all. So we'll we'll mm-hmm. see it. Mm-hmm. Um, so please do that. Um, and thank you for listening to us and for loving the game like we do. And um, it's 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 been a fun journey with you guys. We're not done. I didn't know that I said that. But, um, it has. It has. Like, I was thinking about it last night while we were working on the scripts and everything. You know, we've just come so far and we have so many. I'm so excited for the stuff we have planned out for the rest of the year, some of the episodes. We're really um, changing a few things of what we do behind the scenes to kind of keep us inspired. Because as you can tell, we're like a little salty sometimes. And so... Um, Just sometimes. You know, we have some really fun ideas. I mean, can I tell you, Halloween is going to be bomb as hell. We have some amazing things planned for the fall. So, you know, just hopefully we can guide, we can keep you guys... Even if you're not super excited about The Sims and aren't playing The Sims as much, at least just getting a break from the day-to-day life and just kind of hanging out with us, we really appreciate it. It's 
it's been really like cathartic for us and we hope it's been that way for you too yes okay no all right (laughs) (laughs) oh no okay no okay we'll go (laughs) (laughs) all right friends um I guess it's time to go back to the real world. I'm going to make myself some biscuits. Uh, I that don't know sounds what I'm amazing. Do. I biscuits. am ordering my dinner pizza. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to Hawaiian, take that. <gasps> yes. Yes. Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Shit. Thank you. Ew. And, and Ew. Melissa, because I believe Melissa was also not a fan. I am not a fan of Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yes. Wow. Nope. Get out. One, number wow. one, hot fruit is not allowed near me. Number two, <laughs> I don't eat ham. So I don't eat pork. You don't like apple pie either? Nope. I don't like hot fruit. Wow. No hot fruit for Marissa. And I can't eat ham or pork or any of that. I didn't actually eat real like pork or bacon or whatever until I was like, I don't even know, 12 or 13. So... I don't have the stomach for it. I eat it and I instantly get heartburn. I like, oh my God. I've like thrown it up before. I just do not have a palate for ham and pork and all that. So wow. well, don't depressing. eat it. It's not good. No, um, I turkey bacon. Oh, so good. I love it. Ugh. <laughs> well, on that note, guys, um, save, <laughs> mm, save your game. Wash your fucking hands. Wear a fucking mask. Be kind to everybody mm-hmm. else. And uh, we'll see you next time. We're going to go back to the real world. Goodbye. Okay, bye. 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 Dag, dag.